This truly is a special day because Kincaider Brewing out of Broken Bow, Nebraska just bottled their second recipe of Four County Pale Ale for the first time today. They started bottling around midnight on April 1st, 2017, and currently it is 11 a.m. on the very same day. So less than 12 hours ago, they put this liquid tasty treat into the bottles for the very first time. And it's super exciting for me because I've never tasted a same day bottled beer before, not even my homebrew. Because when I put my homebrew in bottles, it then has to sit for one to two weeks or more for it to bottle condition before I can put it on my taster. So let's take a look at the artwork of this beer, pop it open, get our sniffer on it, and then get on with this review. So I think the artwork's pretty damn cool, and I think that it's really fitting for Kincaider and for this beer specifically, because what comes to my mind when I think of Four County or Custer County, Nebraska, is a whole lot of country. So the barn, the windmill, the silo, and the old pickup truck, I think it really meshes well with this beer specifically. And I think the artist did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with it. So let's pop this thing open. So I gave it a pretty aggressive pour, but there is almost no clarity in the son of a gun. It's dark colored, kind of orange, dark copper. Uh, head sticking around a lot, a lot of lacing happening. I can see it as the foam disappears a little bit. Good looking beer, but I can't wait to smell it. I can already get a little bit of whiff of that citrus and floral from here, but let's pick her up. So I already know what hops went into making this beer. One of the guys from Kincaider told me that they used four varieties to really mesh and jive well with the name. They used Citra, Equinox, Cascade, and Falconer's Flight. <laughs> and you can really tell that that magnificent Citra is in there and really shining through. That fantastic hop is really seducing me with some grapefruit, citrus, mango kind of smells, really asking me to dive in and taste it. But then there's also a little bit of rose petal and a little bit of herbal that I think is probably coming from those Equinox hops. The smell of this beer is second to none. It is incredible. I could smell it as soon as I popped the top on it, but I waited to describe it. It's something that you really need to smell for yourself. It's magnificent. And I said that it's seducing me, really asking me to dive in and I will hold off no longer. Cheers. All right, yeah, hmm. It's definitely interesting. I'm getting a lot of herbal on the taste and the Carbonation is really tickling my tongue like somebody with a tiny little scrub brush is just kind of or like tiny little feathers tickling my tongue really making it dance you know dance to make that dance it's super interesting on the flavor the mouthfeel is light to medium maybe medium light we could call it uh, which I'm a bit surprised about by how dark it is and how cloudy the beer is. I was expecting, you know, more to medium. I think that there's not a terrible amount of residual sugar in here, but you can definitely get a taste of the caramel malts that they used, really balancing out the hops in this son of a gun. Now, this beer is 5.5% alcohol by volume, and it does not say on the bottle uh, how many IBUs it has, and I didn't check untapped because this is a brand new beer, so you know I was just kind of waiting to see if it said on the bottle, and it doesn't. But if I had to guess, I'm guessing it's in the low 40s, uh, maybe maybe low to mid 40s, but that's a pure guess. Kincaider guys, you tell me what it really has, uh, but flavor, it's really decadent, and it's really diverse and robust, uh, but it does have that thin mouthfeel, which I was not expecting. Mostly herbal on the flavor, no bitterness really hanging out on the front of my tongue where it usually hangs out uh, with some pale ales. Definite amount of lacing. The, the candy bar feeling, a little bit is happening. I'm going to say like low 20s, maybe 15 to 20 percent of the candy bar feeling is happening in my cheek, which I'm describing as, as some sugariness. You know, when you bite into a candy bar, it really makes your mouth tickle a little bit. I'm getting like 15 to 20% of that in my lower cheek area. Robust in the flavor, but let's get to a grade. You know, I'm kind of rambling a little bit. I'm gonna give this beer a 4.5 out of five. And guys, I'm taking away points because it is super cloudy. I don't know if that's because it was bottled today or not, but I have to take away 0.25 points for that. You know, I just have to, I have to be consistent with my reviews. And I'm also taking away 
0.25 points because it is a little bit thinner in the mouthfeel than what I would really, really want from a beer that is this robust in flavor profile. Uh, but overall, fantastic, fantastic beer. I can't believe that I was so lucky to be able to taste this beer on the same day that it was bottled. Thank you guys so much for doing that. Thank you so much for having this same day bottling event and having it be no joke for April Fool's Day. 4.5 out of five guys, follow me on Untapped. We can be friends there and toast each other. But for right now, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for checking out my review and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers. It's definitely, definitely interesting. I'm definitely getting mostly herbal and earthiness on my tongue. A little bit of floral. There's not too much citrus that's coming over my tongue. Now that I think about it, there's a little bit of citrus, uh, maybe a little bit of grapefruit there on the tongue, but it's, you know, it's on the back burner behind some herbal floral tasting. And, and maybe that's just my palate. I'm mostly tasting uh, some herbal. I really, really like it. It is robust in the flavor profile. I mean, I was just describing those layers of, of what the hop flavor is giving it. And those flavors, I think, are really overriding the caramel malt flavor. Um, it definitely is there, and it's definitely hiding the bitterness. I really think that it's gotta be, you know, low 40s, maybe, maybe high third, maybe my palate is just uh, immune to some of these bitterness units, but I'm guessing, I'm just purely guessing that it's, uh, 44. I'm thinking that they're going to stick with a four and just go with 44. And one thing too, that 5.5 I think is, is a perfect amount of alcohol. You know, it's not pure sessionable down there in the low fours and it's not like something that's going to burn you out and you can only have like a couple before you start getting that red face, real fun feeling right there in the brain, you know, in the upper sixes, you know, seven, eight percent with some of these pale ales that people are coming out with. I love too that Kincaider, they've got that Sand Hills water and I think that it really makes their beer taste phenomenal. If you haven't been up to their brewery, uh, to their tap room, whatever, check that shit out. It's a fun, fun place. You know, Sand Hills, beautiful, beautiful country um, and I really, really love it. But as for this beer, you know, I do like it. It is definitely thin and uh, maybe a, a touch watery. Um, on the mouthfeel, which I just, I don't think is preferable. I'm sorry guys, but I'm just being honest with you. <clears throat> and if I were to rank this uh, from your beers, from Kincaider's beers, uh, Frame the Butcher is, it's an IPA and this is a pale ale, but, but I think Frame the Butcher is light years ahead of this one. So I'd give like Frame the Butcher, you know, a 4.8 if I could, maybe a 4.9. And this one a 4.5, maybe not light years, but you get what I'm saying. I like that one a lot better. And it's not even that I'm an IPA guy versus a pale ale guy. I just think that beer is more uh, well-rounded in the caramel malt and the IPA, or the caramel malt and the hop character and all that stuff. Frame the Butcher, <laughs> phenomenal. This one, really, really good. But anyway, I'm rambling again. That's what I do best besides drinking beer, uh, besides use a, a sheet for my green screen, pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and hanging out for a while. Really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.